Welcome to an I'm Up Early edition of Eat My Shorts for No Good Reason again. I had a thought when I woke up. I went pee and I couldn't go back to sleep. What if you had 24 hours left to live? Would you be proud of what you've done with your life? You know, did you, did you eat enough calories? Did you reproduce? Did you acquire enough things, right? These things you think you're going to think about. For me, I'm going to think about the people I helped. I'm going to think about the people's lives I made better. Either my families or my online extended family or people I've met in person. And I'm going to think about what I left behind. Besides a happy little grease stain. And my opinions are going to stay the same. If today was my last day, wouldn't matter. I know I did my best with the tools that I had. You know, would I, would I call up some family, tell them I loved them, you know, make some peace? Sure, I'd do that. You know, hug my mom, shit like that, talk to my friends, have a good day, have a good meal, right? The problem is, we don't know when our last day is. No, most of the time anyway, and at least until it's already there, and then it's usually too late. We can live every day like this. We can live every day like it's our last day without being a prick about it, you know, like fucking running up your credit card or whatever. We can do the things that we need to do. We can enjoy ourselves. We can... Make something good and leave it behind. All of these things can happen every day. You know, people talk about wanting to be a freedom fighter, but not many of them are willing to go out and do it. They're not willing to put in that work. When it comes time to stand up and say no more, they just line up and turn in firearms. They don't fucking say no more. No, this is mine. You can't have it. I bought this in good faith. And I bought it legally. Even if you didn't buy it legally. You know, criminals have more balls in a lot of ways than the average person does. You know, it's just a sad fact of life. And I think until a lot of us realize this, we're not going to get anywhere. You know, I think, I think society's fucking doomed until we can change. If we do not learn from history, we are doomed to repeat it. And, you know, if you look at what happened to Marie Antoinette, you know, she said to let them have their cake and eat it too. Well, look how her head turned out, right? Where's that at now? How's that treating her? <sighs> you know, my friends in Canada, you know, nobody's talking about this. They just outlawed protesting there. So they're going to actually really come after these people who want Freedom Convoy Part 2 to happen. They're taking away firearms. They're going to use tanks to stop the convoy. There's all kinds of other rumors right now. This is the scary shit. Live every day like it's going to be your last. Hold your head up high. That way you have nothing to be ashamed of and nothing to be afraid of. Don't be a sad little grease stain when you leave. Be a happy one. That's where I'm going to leave you.